Hey everybody, Travis, normally from Travis Plays, but today I got to go hands-on with the Razer Blade Pro, which they've kind of reworked into a work-play kind of laptop. It does editing, it does gaming, obviously, and also the thinnest gaming notebook in the freaking world, I guess. I was going to say planet, world, universe. Well, we don't know about the universe. But anyway, the Razer Blade. This thing is so thin. I have I have a MacBook Pro. I have one of the newer MacBook Pros. A lot of people had Airs at this uh, press event. And this thing was thinner than a MacBook Air. And it, it's matte black. It looks super, super badass. You, I'm telling you, you guys got to check this out. I, I don't normally get excited about PC laptops. I have my gaming PC, which I... Uh, you know, I obviously trick out and I and I uh, get the latest hardware for and all this other stuff. I don't generally get into gaming laptops because they're huge and they're annoying. And who wants that? It's it, to me, it's nonsense to say, okay, I'm going to take this laptop and try to play games on it in an effective way because it's never going to live up to it. And I, I gotta be honest, my mind was changed because this laptop, like the Razer Blade, it's, I would definitely get the Razer Blade. The Razer Blade Pro is probably still too big for me, but if that was your only machine, I might hook that up. But to me, if you had the Razer Blade, G, it's got a GTX GPU, it has an LED backlit display, I mean, it looks it looks awesome. It looks like my MacBook Air. Uh, it's it's got eight gigs of RAM. It's got an SSD, uh, 256 gigs. Uh, I think you can put a 512 SSD in it from the factory. Uh, it's got Dolby sound and the battery life. I mean, the battery life is still six hours. That's nuts. Six hours for with a GTX. 765M GPU, that is pretty, that's pretty awesome. You, you, you have to admit, right? And this is for the Razer Blade, remember? So the, the resolution on the Razer Blade is 1600 by 900. And really that's, that is like an optimized resolution for gaming. You don't need some crazy resolution for gaming, especially when you're going for high frame rate on the go, really good graphics. I was playing uh, Bioshock Infinite while I was there. Uh, I was playing a little Dishonored, I think, and um, it ran great. I mean, the, the settings are on, they're usually on medium, medium high, right? But you're talking about a laptop that's thinner than a MacBook Air. And if you're on the go, especially if you were like an MMO player, for example, and you want to like keep your character going on the go, you, you have a business trip or something, this would be awesome. I would I would jump on this if I was in that situation. That'd be freaking awesome. Sit in the hotel room, play some video games, and it's not like you're playing on some crappy work PC. It'd be, it, it would be it would be awesome. Yeah, I mean, this is a short review. I'm just kind of throwing it out there. Um, I'll probably write a full thing up for uh, my various syndication syndication channels. But overall, I say if I was going to choose today, I would go with the Razer Blade. Um, even though I do a lot of graphics stuff, uh, and the Razer Blade Pro has a lot of integrations with uh, Photoshop and things like that. But yeah, just real quick, just wanted to show you guys the, the video and tell you that get a friggin' razor blade immediately. <laughs> All right, good luck. Uh, I posted a bunch of pictures on Google Plus and Facebook, so you should definitely check that out. And if you're not following me on Twitter, you missed the live tweeting that was going on like a madman I was taking pictures and tweeting it out and you would have got this information so much earlier so go follow me on Twitter all right goodbye